Hi everybody, my name is Gaming Mule and welcome to Gaming with Mule live on Daydreamer Gaming, sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing. Visit gamerborn.co.uk for all of your gaming, clothing and peripheral needs. Uh, at the checkout, just enter code DDGAMING for 10% off. Hi everybody, welcome to Elite Dangerous. It's been a little while since I've done some Elite Dangerous gameplay over here on the Daydreamer Gaming channel. Um, so I thought it's about time that I came back because as you all know, I goddamn love this game. So, what's been going on in the Elite Dangerous universe? Well, a lot. There's been a lot going on. There was a massive community goal going on just the other day and it culminated in the announcement of the latest update, 2.4 update, the return and that talks about the return of the Thargoids to the elite universe now the Thargoids were in previous elite games but they have yet to really show up in the elite dangerous universe so far there's been a lot of alien sightings kicking about over the past few months there's been a lot of speculation as to whether or not they are the Thargoids or if they're gonna be something else completely different um, but there we go. And it's been confirmed that these aliens are the Thargoids. Um, over on my other channel, over on my own channel, just uh, not yesterday, the day before, um, I went to investigate a crash site of a capital ship that was supposedly destroyed by the Thargoids. There was like lots of green plasma and smoke coming off this enormous capital ship and uh, a load of other ships nearby. So yeah, that's what's been going on in the Elite Dangerous universe recently. So it's something that I really wanted to be a part of. Um, uh, <laughs> Sue is in the comments. Hi Sue, how's it going? What up, Shirley? Roses are red, violets are blue. What's with the title? Gaming Mule. Uh, do you like it? I hope you like the new title. It's uh, something that I've been kicking about over on my own channel. I'm going to do one um, for Daydreamer Gaming as well, so that it's a bit more in theme with Daydreamer Gaming as well. But that's something that's going to come down the line. So this is the new setup for Gaming with Mule Live. Anyway, so back to Elite Dangerous. So what's going on at the minute is, as I say, we've got these alien sightings going on at the minute. And I wasn't sure if, now that 2.4 has been announced, whether or not these alien sightings would continue or they're going to save it up for um, for when 2.4 is actually released in Q3. But uh, I went on the Elite forums earlier and I posted that question on there and there was a lot of really helpful people on there and they confirmed that the, the alien sightings are still going on. And that is something that I really want to capture here on YouTube. So... What I'm doing is I've got to do a bit of grinding to get there first. What I really want to do as well is I want to capture it in, uh, in virtual reality. Obviously, we're not playing virtual reality today. But once I'm all ready for some alien encounters, then that's what I'm going to do. So, but there is, as I say, some preparation that I need to do. So, what I'm doing at the minute is I'm looking to, I'm basically I'm grinding engineers. Anybody that's unfamiliar with the engineers in, um, in Elite Dangerous, these are kind of like specialists that can give you upgrades for like your frameshift drives, your engines, your weapons, all kinds of stuff, but you need to basically like gather materials for them or complete tasks for them for them to give you the higher level stuff. And if we're gonna do in alien encounters, the, apparently, um, you get a higher chance of getting an alien encounter if you have an unknown artifact in your cargo. But the problem is, is that the, un the unknown artifacts kind of melt away your cargo hold after a little while. So what we need is some like anti-corrosive um, cargo holds. And there is an engineer that can give you that. That's Professor Palin that can give you that. But you need to unlock him first. And you need to unlock a couple of other engineers before you can do that. So, one of the engineers is uh, this one, Elvira Martuk. Um, and we've unlocked... We've, I've already done that off stream. I've unlocked Elvira Martuk, done a load of shit for her. Is that a him or a her? With a name like Elvira, I'm assuming it's a woman. Um, so then, we have had a... Uh, we should have had an invite... 
for somebody else. And I can't remember who it was now. It might have been Marco Quent. Yes, it was. It was Marco Quent. Um, so what I need to do, it says, um, you gained access to Marco Quent because you're invited by the Sirius Corporation. So I can go and visit him now, and then I can unlock some stuff um, before I get to Professor Palin, who's the one with the, uh, the cargo stuff that I need. But um, what Marco Quint needs is he needs some items, which I can't remember what they are now. I will find that out in a bit. But as you can see, it says that you were invited by the Sirius Corporation. But what I need, what he's going to want from me, which I isn't on that list, but I know he's going to want it from me, is I need to have a, um, a permit to get to Sirius. Um, so I need to get on, I, I need to get Pally with the Sirius Corporation. So, yeah. So today, we are going to take on some missions from the Sirius Corporation. I'm just going to grind some of this, because we need to get our, uh, our reputation up. So I'm already here at Hardwick Station, um, which should have the Sirius Corporation here as quite a, a big presence. So, yeah, here we go. We've got uh, Manager Dave. Good old Dave from the Sirius Corporation. Oh, he wants us to mine shit. I don't do mining. Everyone knows I don't do mining. All right, we'll look at that in a minute. Right, Sue is in the comments. Do you like Elite Dangerous so much that you never play Rocket League? We will do some more group Rocket League streams soon, Sue, I promise. I know you've been asking for them. You will get them. I do promise. Uh, did you know Todd the Blaster? His first name, Todd, means dead in German. I did not know that. So, his name is Dead, Dead the Blaster. Right. Dave wants us to do some mining. I can't, I can't do mining. I'm not kitted out for mining. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit to the main menu. And we're going to enter, we're going to come into open play. And hopefully that means that uh, the missions will change. Fucking hope so. After that massive introduction, <laughs> saying what I wanted to do. I really hope. Oh. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's going to be some power play bollocks, isn't it? Yeah, weekly bonus vouchers. Fuck off. Right, let's try again. Come on, Dave. Give me some good. Um, anyone that's watching, if this is your first time here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Um, I do a fair few Elite Dangerous streams. I also do quite a lot of Elite Dangerous streams over on my own channel, the Gaming Mule channel, which you can check out. Uh, there's a link on the homepage of the Daydreamer Gaming channel that you're watching right now. Right, okay. Agricultural supply run. 10 units of wine. Alpha Centuri. Accept. Yes, we can do that. So, he does have some other stuff, but we haven't got a decent enough reputation for him yet. i tell you what, you know what's weird, actually? Before, it said requirements not met for the Sirius Corporation, and it had that permit underneath there, but it's not there anymore. Hmm, that's strange. Maybe it'll be there when we come back. Either way. So, yeah. I hope the sound is alright and everything. I've not actually checked that the sound is working okay. I sincerely hope so. Let's quickly do that before we get cracking. Yeah, that's all good in the hood. Brilliant. Right, okay. So, where are we heading to? Oh, what? Where's my... Oh, doesn't matter. Uh, right, okay. Um. Oh, is it not asking? It's uh, convey the goods to Hutton Orbital in Alpha Centauri. Yeah, so I've got. Okay, so I've got that. Right, open Galaxy Map. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's right next to us. It's literally just like one jump away. Cool. <laughs> Sue says he does a few Elite Dangerous live stream and no Rocket, live, Rocket League live streams. We'll do... We, I, I promise you we will. I'll tell you what. In a minute, I'm going to go on to the Daydreamer Gaming chat. And I'm going to tell everybody that we need to do a Rocket League stream for you, Sue. Just for you. Right. Okay. I'm hoping that that guy's going to have more missions when we get back, because that was pitiful. Pitiful, I'm telling you, kids. Pitiful. We don't have any permits, do we? 
There was a way to check permits. We haven't already got that permit, have we? No, I have no permits. That's fine. That's what I was expecting. I don't think I've ever... I've been to Alpha Centauri yet in this game, you know, thinking about it. Oh, shit. I'm not wearing my Star Trek outfit for today's stream. Bollocks! I'm still wearing my work gear. I was just really wanting to play this game this evening. Sue says I'm so salty about you guys not playing Rocky League. Right, hold on, where's my phone? I'm gonna get onto the onto the Discord chat now. I'm gonna say guys. Hold on, let's just make sure I don't crash into this star. Let's not crash into Alpha Centauri if we can help it. Right. Guys. Sue is desperate for a Rocket League stream. I think he deserves it. We should do one very soon. There we go. I've sent it. I hope that sorts you out. <laughs> I hope you feel better after that. We will do one, I'm promising you. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Submit it. I didn't submit to that interdiction. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't have my throttle on. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're not kitted up for combat. We are out of here. What an escape. My frameshift drive charge is so fast going into super cool. It's awesome. Right. Um, right, hold on. Let, right, let's just do a quick scan because I can't see where exactly we're um, supposed to be going. Ah, there it is. Hutton Orbital. God, we're so close to Sol and I still don't have a, have a permit. That is something I've been trying to work on. Work on is um, because to get um, to get a permit to Sol, you need to be a certain rank with the Federation, and that's what I was working on until this whole thing about 2.4 came about. Um, so I'm putting that to one side, and we're gonna work on um, getting these alien encounters because I really want to get an alien encounter before 2.4 is rolled out. So that's why I'm grinding the engineers so that we can get the corrosive resistant cargo racks so that I can get an unknown artifact and then head to Professor Palin well sorry and then head to the Maya system and fly around there and see if we can get a uh, see if we can Jesus this is fucking miles away Fuck me, Hutton Orbital is absolutely fucking miles away. So he says, good little boy, here's your gold star. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to take us forever to get to. And this isn't... This isn't in another system, is it? No, this is the same system. 0.22 light years. Holy shit. Power to engines. Okay. This is going to take a while, kids. I might as well have a sip of Coca Cola. Anybody watching, please be sure to say hi in the comments. I always love to hear what you guys are saying, thinking. Oh, it's nice to have some company along the way. It's nice to have somebody uh, different that's not just Sue talking about Rocket League. <laughs> if 
not had any responses yet. Oh no, hold on a minute. Sue, Sonny's put agreed, I'm happy to oblige. There you go. We'll probably have a game set up by the time I reach fucking Hutton Orbital. This is frigging miles away, man. Holy shit balls. I did wonder why we would get how much was it? 200 odd thousand? 247,000 just for dropping off um, a bit of wine. It's unique wine as well. Nothing but the best for the Sirius Corporation. How much money have I got? That's gone up a bit. I did have a community goal thing in here and it's gone now because I didn't return to the system. So I'm assuming that that's just gone, been credited to my account now. That's pretty cool. Oh, come on, chat. Why are you being stupid? Sue says, I'll just imagine you're in Rocket League Stadium and you're scoring a long fucking ass goal. Yeah. <laughs> Tops fucking goal. My god, this is so far away. This does not make for good viewing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kids. Let me find some. I need something else to entertain you with. I haven't got anything that's Elite Dangerous related that I can show you. But I've got so many cool things in my. What have I got to hand? I've got my, I've got my Dragon Dagger to hand. Very nice. This is the Legacy Dragon Dagger. Cost me a, a pretty penny, but it's very nice. It's uh, it's got die cast metal on it, and it also has the uh, the sounds. Hold on a minute. I don't know how well you can hear that, but uh, if you if you press the buttons, you've got some very nice sound effects. Uh, and then if you press the mouthpiece down, and in fact, I'll put the uh, I'll put the speaker next to you. Oh shit, I shouldn't play that. I might get copyright strike for playing that. Hold on. Yes. Um, Mule, do you want a challenge? Says Sue. Damn right I want a challenge. Anything to keep you guys entertained. Hit me with it, baby. Because <clears throat> this is going to take a while. Might as well uh, get a look at the ship while we're doing this, actually. Might as well uh, make it look good. There's the old uh, the old Muladong Explorer. The pride of the mule fleet. Oh, shit. I've just gone off course, then. Yeah, the pride of the mule fleet. The Asp Explorer. The Muladong Explorer. Talk about your beard till you get to that fucking planet. Oh man, that is, that's, alright, oh, god, how long is that going to take? It's going to take forever, man. So, my beard. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my beard for 15 minutes. Hold on, let's just see how long this is going to take. Well, I've been growing this beard now for quite a few years. I've, I've had a beard um, for probably about... Probably about six years, five or six years now. Yeah, something like that. Uh, takes a lot of taking care of. I mean, I do trim it. I mean, if I if I just let it grow, I would have a wizard's beard by now, which I don't have. I don't have a wizard's beard. If I'd have left it alone, I could have done. But I take very good care of it. I trim it regularly. Gets uh, it gets shampooed and conditioned every day. Uh, I have I oil it as well every single day. The beard. Um, I also have some moustache wax, but I rarely use that. I only use that on special occasions to get the old, uh, the old twizzle moustache going on. There you go. Uh, Mikey Anderson is in the chat. How's it going, Mikey? Thank you so much for joining us today on Daydreamer Gaming. Where are you going? Oh, Hutton. Yes, oh, Hutton. I didn't realise how far away Hutton was. 
and I did wonder why I was going to get paid like 250,000 credits just for delivering some wine. And now I know why, because it's fucking miles away. So we're just passing the time now, um, you know, talking about my beard. Uh, Sue, in the comments, we could, just to avoid co confusion, by the way, uh, when I say Sue, I'm talking about IDP Silver. He's a, he's, a, he's a regular on the old Daydreamer Gaming channel, so we call him Sue for reasons I can't be bothered to explain. So when I say Sue, I'm talking about IDP Silver there with the Rocket League uh, avatar picture, profile picture thing. Um, you're a wizard, Mule. You're a wizard, says Sue. I'm not, I'm not a wizard. It's not long enough to be a wizard. I'm more of a Will Riker. I consider myself more of a Will Riker. Hence the, uh, the Star Trek, the next generation outfit behind me. Um, but anyway. Uh, Mikey says, why are you going to Hutton? Um, I'm going to Hutton because um, it was given to me by the Sirius Corporation. Just a normal mission. Um, I'm trying to get a Sirius permit so that I can visit... Um, oh, no, not Hollow Me. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I need to get a Sirius permit so I can visit um, Marco Quent. Because I'm grinding for Professor Palin. I want to get Professor Palin as an engineer, but I know that I need to get Marco Quent up to three and a half stars or whatever you want to call it for your engineers. So um, the only mission that was available for the Sirius Corporation was to go to Hutton Orbital. So that's what I'm doing now. That's fine. We can talk about shit. Uh, question, who says you can talk about Hutton? Who says you can talk about Hutton? I have no idea what you're talking about there, Sue. Yeah, I've done the run a few times. I can give you some uh, stations with rare goods. Um, I'm not even looking for rare goods. I'm literally just trying to build up my reputation with the Sirius Corporation. So I, it's not even... I'm not even doing it just to make money. I'm doing it just because that's all that was available. Um, I'm hoping that once my reputation starts to go up, then there'll be more missions available. I had to go into open play as well. I started off in solo play, but uh, and the only missions that were available for him were mining missions, and my Asp Explorer isn't kitted out for mining. So, um, yeah. So I restarted, and then the only thing that was available was this delivery mission to Hudson. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's be serious, guys. Haha, -ha, I need friends, says Sue. You've got friends, Sue. You've got us. Don't be daft. Anybody else watching? Please be sure to say hi in the comments. We're going to be taking. This is going to take a little while. This trip. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it says one hour and forty minutes, but obviously that's not going to happen. But well, I don't know. It's going up quickly, and we are increasing speed as well. So it shouldn't take us too long. How long does it normally take you, Mikey, when you uh, travel to Hudson? Is uh, can you give me an ETA on how long it normally takes? Um, I really don't want to abandon this mission now, but that's fine. We we can chat. It's not a problem. It's not a problem whatsoever. How's your day days going, guys? Are you having a pleasant? What day is it today? Thursday. It's Thursday today. I hope you're having a really pleasant Thursday. Um, I've had a standard Thursday at work today, but I've been itching to come home and play on Elite because of I'm desperate to get these alien encounters before uh, before 1.1.4 2.4 comes out. Um, so I'm desperately trying to get Professor Palin so I can get these uh, corrosive resistant cargo racks, and then I'm just going to fly around Maya um, and find some aliens, hopefully. But that's not going to happen for a while. I'm just grinding grinding um, <laughs> engineers at the minute. 100% not Sue. Hi, I am a new person. Please accept me. <laughs> how often do you change your uh, like channel name, Sue? Like, How often do you change your username on YouTube? It must take a long time. Um, I need to fix my PC, says Mikey. Oh god, are you, are you, without, are you without a PC at the minute? That sucks. I don't know what I would do without my PC. I would, I would genuinely cry. I'd be really upset. Without my PC and my laptop, I would cry. I'd have to stick to... I'd have to, I'd have to turn my PlayStation 4 on. I'd have to play Rocket League for Sue. Or for 100% not Sue. 
<laughs> oh my god, this is taking forever. Our speed is slowly increasing, but the time... I really don't want to be just doing this for an hour and a half. Why is Hutton Orbital so far away? <laughs> um... Itching to play Elite, but not Rocket League. I like Rocket League, Sue. It's just... I only, I only want to do it on a group stream. I don't want to do it um, on my own on Daydreamy Gaming. We need to all get together. If you want to watch Rocket League, there's some old Rocket League videos on the channel that you can watch. There's some old group streams you can watch from when the channel, like, not long after the channel first started. They're pretty good for a laugh. You could watch them. 1070 death, says uh, Mikey. I'm not too sure what you mean by that. 1070 death. One, I don't know. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Look how long it's taken just to go from 0.02 light years. If this doesn't... Im I might have to abandon this mission. I don't want to, but I might have to. This isn't going to do our reputation with the uh, Sirius Corporation any good. But it looks like it genuinely is going to take us an hour and a half to get there. We'll give it another five minutes. Guys, come and say hi in the chat. Please say come and give me something to do. Bartholomew... Um, Bartholomew... Schl Schlob Slobodzian? I think I'm pronouncing that right. Bartholomew Slobodzian. I remember going there once. Never again. I can see why, Bartholomew. What a pain in the ass this is. I might abandon this. I was hoping to grind lots of reputation stuff for Sirius today, but this is just taking forever. Why would they why would this hut and orbital be so far away from Alpha Centauri? Uh oh graphics card oh I see what you mean now, uh Mikey. Ten seventy. Um ten seventy death graphics card. Oh a, a ten seventy death. That is heartbreaking. That is real. I've got a 1070. I'm worried now. Uh, Bart, I'm just going to call you Bart. Uh, Bart says, yes. Uh, I think you should reach 2000 C. Yes, very Oh, yes, very good. Oh, I pronounced your name right. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining, by the way. Welcome to Daydreamer Gaming. Um, I don't know if this is the first time that you've joined us here on Daydreamer Gaming, but uh, if it is, check out what else we've got on the uh, on the channel. We're a collaboration channel, so we've got all kinds of stuff. Something for everybody here. I do Elite Dangerous streams, mostly, but I do do other things as well. And then some of my other colleagues do various other things as well. So check it out. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. If you're watching now, guys, hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. Um, this is getting rather tedious. Um... I'll sue you, prick. <laughs> I just want to confirm that uh, the gaming mule that is in the chat right now is not me. It's uh, somebody playing silly buggers. I'll do a sub for sub. You prick. <laughs> I just want to confirm that at Daydreamer Gaming, we do not do sub for sub. And I don't do sub for sub either. But if I like what you do, then I'll sub. Right, this is taking so fucking long, isn't it? Our speed is still going up. Mikey thinks we should abandon it. I don't know. It is taking too long, isn't it? How many hours have I got to do this? I might do this off stream. I've still got 23 hours to do this. Right, we're abandoning this shit, guys. This is going to take too long. Let's get back to... Uh, uh, I can't even remember where we were. Hold on. Uh, where did we pick up this mission from? Anyway, I can't fucking remember now. Ah, oh, bollocks. 
Does it say on there where I picked this mission up from? I can't remember where I started it out. Oh, what was the station I started the stream off out in? I can't fucking remember now. Ah, hold on a minute. If I have a look back on the stream at the start, actually, it'll show, it'll tell me, won't it? I can't remember what system we were in. Procyon system. Aha! I need to bookmark that shit. Right. Who says it is me? P.S. In case you're gullible, it isn't me. No, it's not me, people. Let's keep that clear, shall we? Okay. Right. Sorry for that, guys. We're actually going to do some stuff now. I'm hoping that they're going to have some missions there for me again. Um, I'm going to I'm going to bookmark this area as well when we get there, so that I don't have that issue once again. Um, yeah. Boom. Right. Uh, where are we heading to? Hardwick Station. Let's bookmark the shit out of that. There we go. Hardwick Station. Right. Nine thousand light seconds feels like a long way away as well, actually. Uh, but it is the nearest dock, well, station, so that's, uh, that's fine. So that'll just, that won't take us long to get there. Um, oh, fuck, I've changed my name too much, got to wait an hour. Oh, so you're going to be posting as me for an hour, Sue. Cheers for that. <laughs> Thanks very much. God damn it. You do change your name way too much, man. You do it all the time. <laughs> Oh, I suppose we could try this station. They'll have missions, won't they? Ah, yeah, let's go here. We've not been here yet. Let's try Reitzler Re Station. Let's see what they've got there. Yeah, I've abandoned that other one, the, uh, the agricultural supply run. I'll just do that. Off stream. I'll watch a movie while it's going on or something. God, I've been streaming for over half an hour already. We've not achieved anything. Absolutely anything. This is... This is not how I planned this evening to go. Okay. Right, this isn't going to take long. Warning. Frameshift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frame shift drive operating beyond safety limits. I don't know what... See, this happened to me yesterday when I was playing this game. I was heading towards the Hardwick station. And it said, um, frame shift drive operating beyond safety limits. Now, that's normally what you what happens when you get near a neutron star. And obviously, there's no neutron stars around here. Um, but I look at my, like, my, my ship and... There's nothing to suggest that there's anything going on with the frameshift drive. It's really weird. I, it did that to me yesterday. I have no idea why. It's very odd. My beard is longer than Sue's Rocket League, li League live stream. Wait. Man, you're gonna get your live stream, okay? I've already okayed it on the chat, on the um, on our Discord chat, okay? It's cool. You're gonna get it. Chill, man. Chill your bean. Okay, hey, babe. 
Right. Here we go. We're nearly at Railer Station. There best be some missions to be taken here. Anybody that's just joined, I'll explain to you what's going on today on the Elite Dangerous stream. Oh god, we're going to overshoot this now, aren't we? Oh shit. Hold on, I'll explain what's going on in just a second once I've escaped this mother trucker. Oh god, this guy's pretty good. Ah! Fuck off! Yeah, so what I'm doing at the minute really is I'm grinding engineers because I want to get, I want to unlock Professor Palin so I can get the corrosive resistant cargo racks so that I can find an unknown artifact and then I can cruise around um, looking for alien encounters. So I've got, a, I've got a hell of a grind going on, but we're going to get there eventually. I'm determined to get an alien encounter before 2.4 comes out and I want to be able to stream it live for you guys in virtual reality as well. I'm not doing virtual reality today, as I'm sure you've probably guessed. But uh, in generally, I tend to play Elite Dangerous in VR. So that's what I want you guys to see. That's uh, And that's going to happen soon, as soon as I can. As soon as I get this goddamn grind out of the way. Um, Sue says, I actually said on the Discord, let's make Sue wait longer to be complete arseholes. Fucking hell. You just don't believe me, do you? It's on there, man. I can assure you it's on there. We would not we would not do that to one of our regular viewers. Boom. Safe disengage ready. Right. There best be some fucking missions for the Sirius Corporation here, and they best not take me to fucking Hutton. Boarding permission granted. Oh yeah, you best have some decent missions here, you mother truckers. Shit, slow down. We're gonna crash. Trying to land and look at the chat at the same time. I really shouldn't do that. That's when accidents happen. That's when you accidentally press the boost button when you shouldn't do. Oh, come on. There we go. Boom! Right. You best give me some goddamn missions, Serious Corporation, otherwise I'm going to be really upset. Yes! Oh, it's Dave again. Oh, Dave's here as well. Oh, this is more like it. Sorcerer... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is much better. We'll take all of these. Um, shit, where's the other one gone? Oh, I haven't got enough cargo space. Oh, all that shit's taking up my cargo space, isn't it? Articulation motors. Fuck do I want them for? I'll sell them. Uh, oh, we've got more stuff. Hold on. <laughs> this is fun to be like you, says Sue. I just, as a, anybody that's uh, just joined us, the gaming mule in the chat is not me. It's, uh, it's Silver Eagle Web, aka Sue. He's being a pain in the ass. <laughs> this is fun to be like you. My bank details are username duck pass off. The serial code, I love making people wait. I'm texting on my phone. I thought that you might be. Yeah, I thought you might be on your phone. Right, is that freed up enough cargo space? Um. Hey, 
Oh, okay. It hasn't, but it's given us more stuff. Okay, that's fine. We'll accept both of those. Right, okay. Boom. Right, where are we heading to? Uh, deliver 15 units of bio waste to there. One jump away. God, I love this ship. Everything's so easy and close. I love my Mule Dong Explorer. It's the bomb. <clears throat> Good okay, we're gonna get a nice clean takeoff, guys. Away we go. Landing gear retracted. Epsilon Eridani, here we come. Oh, hold on a minute, no. I was going into supercruise then instead of hyperspace. <laughs> oh god, I'm scared. Oh god, I'm scared. He said my full username. I'm in trouble. <laughs> you change your username every day of the week, Sue. It doesn't matter what I say. Silver Eagle Web. 100% not Sue. IDP Silver. You've changed your name three, like twice. Three times or whatever already. Just in this one stream. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's like uh, it's like when your mum sends you, sends you to bed and she uses your full name, isn't it? Silver Eagle Web. It's bedtime. Well, actually, no. Sorry. In your case, it'll be uh, Silver Eagle Web. It's bedtime. Get to bed. K A B. That was my Scottish accent, by the way. My Sean Connery accent. I'm not suggesting that your mum sounds like Sean Connery, by the way, Sue. <laughs> well, she might do. I don't know. But I'm sure she doesn't. I'm sure she doesn't call you Sue either. <laughs> Sue! Junior! Get to bed! We're in the dog, Sue! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm waiting for a, a witty retort in the chat. Right. So if we head to Davis Station Planet Side, in theory, it should be a lot easier to dock. There's a little tidbit there for any of you guys that play Elite Dangerous that didn't know that. If you head to a station Planet Side... Then, oh god, what the fuck is wrong with the orbit in this thing? Then, um, in theory, you should be facing the station so you can just mosey right on in instead of having to navigate around it and figure out which side the letterbox is. Um, oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> I'll read that in a second. <laughs> Not quite, not quite right in front, but you can see where the um, you can see where the letterbox is. Um, indeed, problem is she doesn't say Silver Eagle Web. She says, William Wallace, get the fuck to bed, you ginger, you ginger bearded cunt. Sorry, guys, no, no more c word bad language for the rest of the stream. I promise. I do try not to use that word, but that was pretty funny, So, So, well done. Well done, old chap. Well done, old chap. Shit, I suppose we best get permission to land. Permission authorized. Prep for arrival on landing pad 37. We are speeding, but fuck the police. I don't care. Oh, shit. Oh, God, maybe I do care. <laughs> there we go. We got it back, guys. We got it back. I'm a professional. I'm a professional pilot in this game, honestly.
This is a message to all commanders. Please reduce this evil. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked it. I thought, oh, we had the perfect landing then, and then I accidentally pressed bloody the button to go free looking, free view. Why aren't you landing? There we go. I'm going to say the C word. Cereal, cereal, cereal. Oh, I'm savage. I'm a savage. You most certainly are. You are a savage. An absolute savage. The language in this chat is disgusting. Makes me sick. We're family friendly here on the Daydreamy Gaming channel. Oh, what was that? I had a message then. Has our influence gone up? Has our... Oh, Sirius Corporation. Reputation change. Good day, Commander Moscow Mule. We are pleased to inform you that your reputation... We are pleased to inform you that your reputation status with Sirius Corporation has been raised to cordial. You should keep completing successful operations with us to enhance your reputation further from the Sirius Corporation operations team. Excuse me. Um, is there anybody from the Sirius Corporation here? Is Dave here as well? Dave seems to be a bit everywhere, doesn't he? No, he's not here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, right, what do we need to find then? What do we need to source? We needed some girls! And some water purifiers. Gold and water purifiers. Do we have any of that shit here? Water purifiers? Nope. No. Okay, we need to find some of that shit. Oh, family friendly. Let's just go back to your Monopoly stream, shall we? That was very family friendly, the Monopoly stream. I don't know what you are talking about, man. Fun for all the family, that stream was. P.S. Getting food. Okie dokie, matey. You go grab yourself some fodder. Um, right, what am I looking for? I want some gold. Sol has gold. I can't go to Sol though. Um, ah, wolf. What's this? Wolf one for something or other. That has gold. Let's take a let's take a trip there then, shall we? Let's see if we can source some gold, and then we'll see if we can find some water purifiers as well. Um, yeah, all good, all good. Ship restraints withdrawn. Watch for oncoming traffic when passing through the airlocks. Fuck speeding regulations. Woo! I ain't got time for speeding regulations. Yeah! God, I hate that. <laughs> Shift drive charging. Anybody else watching? Be sure to say hi in the comments. I always like to hear what you guys have to say. I always appreciate some uh, feedback, some advice on what to do in this game. Um, if you're new to the channel, introduce yourself, say hi. We're a friendly bunch here at Daydreamer Gaming. We all like some interaction with our viewers, so say hi. Boom. Simples. Right. Just do a quick scan of the area. I've probably been here before. Yeah. Right. Where's closest? Anchor's Gateway. Acres Gateway, sorry. I hope I've got enough cargo space, actually, to get this gold. I didn't actually check. So I've got 26 cargo, cargo capacity. Um... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Gaming Mule is back. 
Again, anybody that's just joined, the gaming mule in the chat is not me. It's somebody is pretending to be me. It's disgusting. I've got an idea for the moderators. Make a go to Rocket League with friends button. Go to Rocket League. Jesus, you're obsessed. You're obsessed with Rocket League, man. And we will do it. Sonny's already said that we'll do it, so at least the two, at least you've you've at least got two daydreamers on board with the Rocket League thing. Finn loves Rocket League, so he'll play it. Lit's got Rocket League. Steve's got it, I think. Denzel's got it. There's low. Pretty much all of us have Rocket League, so you'll get it, man. You'll get it. Besides, what's wrong with the stream you're watching now? <laughs> Come on, Acres Gateway. Keep it coming, baby. The best I've gold here. I, a few times in the past, I've looked at the trade routes and gone to a place that says that they trade certain items or whatever, and uh, and then they don't have it. It's like the galaxy map just wants to lie to you because it's a bastard. Slow down, Aspect Explorer. Come on. Slow down. Slow it right down. There we go, good lads. <laughs> Cheers, Sue. I told Sonny about that the other day, actually. <laughs> Right, okay, we're coming up to Acres Gateway. That's a nice Earth-like planet there. I'm hoping at some point they're going to introduce um, planetary landings on Earth-like planets. That would be so amazing. It would be so cool. But sadly, you can only land on boring planets at the minute. Or they've all been boring, the ones that I've found anyway. I'm probably going to be doing some, of that, some more of that soon. I think... Um, the more grinding with the engineers uh, I'm, I do, the more things I need to find on planet surfaces. So I've got my SRV at the ready, ready for us to uh, to do a bit of planetary exploration, see what shit we can find on the planets. Speed up with a trucker, permission to land. If you read this, you have to say the C word. Cereal. Ooh, cereal, the forbidden word. Right, I did get permission to land, didn't I? Yeah. Docking Bay 11, Junior. Oh, it's by the letterbox. I hate it when that happens. Put her into reverse, Captain. Landing gear deployed. Do you have authorization to be inside the docking bay? Remember, loitering is a violation. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Seriously? There we go. Right. Gold. What the f Fuck, there's no gold here. Must be at one of the other ones. Shit. Okay, is there any... What else was I after? Water purifiers, was it? Got any water purifiers here? No, they got fuck all here. Right, let's try another place then. What's next? Godal Terminal. Let's try that. Right, looks like we're going to have to turn around. Turn around. Welcome to our station. Oh shit. There's another asp there. Getting in my fucking way. Piece of shit. There's another asp coming in. Is that an asp? Well, there's another ship. Oh, no. No, it's going away. Oh, no, it is coming in. What is it? What is it? What is it? What are you, you fucker? I don't know. I think that was a cobra. Right. This place best have gold. Three, Otherwise, I'm going to be deeply, deeply upset. Right, this will not take us any time at all to get to. It's only 112 light seconds away, which is fine. I've got another challenge. Want it? Says Gaming Mule. Yeah, go on, mate. It hit me. This is taking a while, actually. There must be a hell of a gravitational pull in this area. I suppose with the, that kind of solar system that was behind me and then this one in front of me, I suppose it takes a bit more oomph for the old uh, Mule Dung Explorer to speed up. Talk about Rocket League for five minutes. I can talk about Rocket League for five minutes, no problem. Rocket League's a great game. If there's anybody out there that hasn't played Rocket League, you need to play it. It's an excellent, amazing combination of... Uh, of football or soccer, depending on which part of the world you're from, um, and remote control cars. And it's amazing. You can, like, jump and do epic flips and stuff like that. And it's so satisfying when you get an amazing goal. And it's great to play with friends. Um, but it's good to play on your own as well. I mean, you can, you know, just... Even just, like, joining a random team is fun. Um, it was ages ago. I think, like not long after the PlayStation 4 first came out, it was on PlayStation Plus for free. It was one of the free monthly games, and it was absolutely amazing. I just downloaded it because I thought I'd get my money's worth out of PlayStation Plus, and I didn't play it for a little while. I heard a few people talking about it, uh, so I thought, ah, you know what, sod it. I'll try something different. Played it, and it was, oh, I was amazed by it. I absolutely loved it. It's, um... And I couldn't believe it was free. In fact, I was so impressed with it that not too long ago I bought it again on PC so I could play it on PC. Um, yeah, I love it. Um, <laughs> Sue says, if you have friends. You've got friends, Sue. You can join one of our streams sometime. But then our main Rocket League fan isn't going to be watching it. He's going to be playing it. I don't know if that's better or not. Excuse me. Um, oh, how do you pronounce this name? Um, Morito Gaia? Is that right? Morito Gaia? Welcome to Gaming with Mule Live on Daydreamer Gaming. Morito Gaia. Morito Gaia. Morito Gaia. We'll go with that. I'll just, I'm just going to call you Morito. Um, waiting for the PS4 version. Heart, that, that, and that. Excellent. Is that, are you already an Elite fan? Like, uh, do you play it on, like, PC or Xbox already and you just 
looking forward to try it on a new console? Or are you like brand new to the whole thing and you're just looking forward to finally getting to uh, to be able to play it? Um, oh shit, where are we landing? I can't see the landing pad. Where are you, you fucker? I hate these stations because it's never always clear where the landing pad is. Where are we going to? Landing pad three. Oh, is that it there? That's probably it, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be it. Perfect. Cheers, Marito. I'm calling you Marito. <laughs> Right, so. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? There we go. So, um. Gaming Mule slash Sue says, I ain't got a mic though. Baby I. I'm assuming you mean, do you mean, when you say baby eye, is that like you're referring to your child as like mini-me? Baby eye. <laughs> Started hitting it off the floor somehow, it magically broke. He broke it in half. I'm calling him Hercules. Aww. I want to say bless, but I also want to offer my sympathies for you having your, having your microphone broke. Baby eye. Is that deliberate or have you just done that by accident on your phone? <laughs> um, what am I looking for? Gold, isn't it? Gold. Give me some gold, baby. Come on, give me some gold. Or water purifiers. That'll do. No. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Right, how much gold do we need? Uh, six units of gold. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Mission objective complete. Mission objective complete. Okay. So we need some water purifiers as well. Um, right, let's hop into the galaxy map. Right, water purifiers. Doopy doopy doo. Um, does that come under chemicals? Water purifiers. Uh, machinery. I don't know what water purifiers comes under. Ah, here we go. Water purifiers. Boom. <clears throat> right. Where's that coming from? So there's... It's coming from Sirius, but we can't go to Sirius. Um... Cock Airy. We could go to Cock Airy. Cock Airy looks like it's got some. Let's go to Cock Airy. Uh, Marito says, uh, the first time, um, on PlayStation 4, I've been waiting for a long time. Right now I'm playing No Man's Sky. Oh no, I feel for you. Although I understand that No Man... By the way, this is so much better than No Man's Sky. But saying that, um, I'll be honest, I haven't played No Man's Sky since any of the updates. So it could be a very different game now. But I bought No Man's Sky day one. I was so hyped for it. So stoked for it. Couldn't wait. I stayed up till midnight so I could play it. Even though I had work the next morning. I just wanted to get like an hour in playing the game. And I thought it was okay like that first hour or so of playing it. But then like the more you played it the more you realized that that was it and there was like nothing else to the game you just experienced like everything in like that first hour and i ended up loathing it absolutely loathing it because of the amount of money i paid for it a 60 i'm sure it was 60 quid i can't remember if it was 50 or 60 quid but either way like it was so overpriced for what it was if they'd have charged like 20 quid or 25 quid for that game i'd have been fine with it i'd have been like you know what this is a good effort fair effort for an indie developer they've charged a reasonable price it's an all right game 
fair play to them. But because they charged 60 quid for this indie game that had l little to no content, I was furious and I've not played it since. What a pile of absolute shit No Man's Sky was. And I can't blame you for saying that you can't wait for this because you're going to be blown away by this. This is just going to take an absolute shit on Hello Games and No Man's Sky. Uh, Lit's in the chat. How's it going, Lit? Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Marito says the warping elite is perfect. I agree. I Everything about... Well... It does make me sound like a fanboy when I say everything in this game is perfect, but I am a fanboy of this game. I love this game. It's so good. Um, not everything's perfect in this game. There's glitches in it and stuff like that. There's a few issues and there's a huge grind, a massive learning curve. I'm up to about 230 hours into this game and I, I feel like I'm learning stuff all the time and there's so much stuff that I've not even done in this game. It's unreal. It's huge. But you need to... I think, I think that a lot of people have an issue with in this game is that there's like there's not really much of a storyline or a narrative. There's not much of a narrative when you're playing the game. And a lot of people don't really like that. You're basically just kind of dumped in the middle of the galaxy and just kind of left to your own devices, which is extremely daunting if you've never played this game before. But at the same time, it's very fun to like learn and discover the galaxy and the, the mechanics of the game and the different ships and... You know, it's a lot of fun, and you're going to really enjoy it, uh, Marito. Um, you're going to have a, a lot of uh, you're going to have a lot of fun when playing this game, especially if you've been playing No Man's Sky. Um, really, the only thing that No Man I'm, No Man's Sky is very different to this. Actually, I mean, planetary like space exploration is kind of really the only similarity. Um, you can do you can um, you can do planetary landings in this game, but it's only certain planets. And there's no like wildlife or anything like that kicking about like there is in No Man's Sky. Um, there's not really any crafting in this. There's a, f a few like crafting similarities. You've got synthesizing, but um, personally, I've not really used synthesizing at all. It's not very uh, essential to the game. But uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, Lit says bit of a headache, but other than that, I'm good. 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 Shame that you've got a headache. Probably sitting in front of a computer screen probably won't do it any good. So thanks for coming along all the same. Uh, safe disengage ready. Uh, Burrito says, it's a sci-fi game, it's good. Elite is more realistic. Um, yeah, I suppose it is. I suppose it's based more on like actual physics and things like that. Um, the constellations in the sky that you see in the distance, like these are all based on like actual constellations that we see in the sky. Um, I'm quite near Earth actually at the minute in this game. I'm quite near Sol, which is the solar system that Earth's in. So really, like all the stars that you can see in the sky here, really I would have thought would be based on like actual um, like what we can see in the sky. I don't know why I'm looking outside. It's still pretty light out there. Well, what we can see out there. Um, yeah. I'm blabbering. Oh god, we overshot that a lot, didn't we? Right, let's get permission to land. Uh, request docking. Landing permission granted. Proceed to landing pad 26. I love these stations with, like, the red and blue haze. I mean, they all look like Borg cubes, but, you know, I do like the way that these ones look. I've not seen any with the arms for a while. Like, some of them have, like, these huge, like, towers, like, arms sticking out of them. It makes it a lot easier to figure out where the letterbox is. And a while ago, I found, like, loads of them. I just came across loads of them all at once, and I've not seen any since. I thought it was, might have been an update, but clearly not. Clearly, I just, like, stumbled across them. Right, where the... F oh, shit, where's the... Where's 26? Is that it? Shit, we're going to get done for pad loitering in a minute. Fuck is it? Ah, there it is. Stop going in reverse, you prick! Nice and easy, kids. Ah! 
Uh, boom. Uh, it says motion headache, lights and sounds not affected, so that's good. Oh, that's good. And it's been medicated, so it's fading. Oh, fair play to you. I hope you feel better soon. Right, what have I come here for? Water purifiers, isn't it? Water purifiers, where are you, you motherfuckers? Water purifiers, there best be some of you fuckers here. Yes, there is. How many do I need? Um, 12 of those bastards. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Submit. We Have these guys got any missions from Sirius Corporation? I highly doubt it. Uh, we've got... That guy looks like Dave. That is what Dave looks like, but it's not Dave. It's Kakeri Holdings. Manager Buster, Hol Buster Pollard. But he looks like Dave. I'm telling you, that is... that. When we get back, when we get back to Thingamabob, that's what Dave looks like. Okay. Right, let's head back then, shall we, kids? Um... Why does that say updated? Hold on a minute. Oh, we've got to go somewhere else. Oh. Convey the goods to Rateler Station in Procyon. Oh, okay. So we've got a. Oh, we've got to take that elsewhere. Okay, we might as well do that one first then. Boom. Procyon. Now, that's where I'm heading anyway. Why does it say updated and this one doesn't? No, I don't care. Right, let's go. Do I need to refuel? Do I balls? Marita says, the first thing I'm going to do in Elite Dangerous is to find Voyager 1 Golden Record. Very cool. All clear. What's that? No what do you mean by find Voyager 1? I'm not too sure what you mean by that. And I'm not sure what you mean by Golden Record as well. Is that like a Golden Trophy? I'm not sure what Voyager 1 is. Explain to me. Explain to me what you mean. I'm, I'm intrigued. Of course, that, yeah, that's the thing as well. If you get it on PlayStation, you get trophies as well. But from what I heard from the Xbox version, apparently it's it's one of, if not the hardest game to get like 100% achievements slash trophies on. I don't know if that's true, but apparently it's the hardest thing to do. And I can imagine that. I bet it's, it'd be like get elite in everything. If you, and that's just like going to take forever. If, if not the hardest, probably most certainly the most time-consuming. Right, where am I going? Ah, don't crash into that star, you son of a bitch. Desperate for a cigarette, but I don't want to leave you guys. I'm going to fire up uh, the old robo fag. Johnny Five's cock. <sighs> Sorry about the vaping live, guys. It's just, you know, it's needed. I am addicted to cigarettes, and the only way that I can do that without going, I'll be back in five minutes, is just to smoke some of this shite. And it means that we can sit and have a, a sophisticated chat, although saying that, these things aren't exactly sophisticated, they make you look like a ripe dickhead. Oh, okay, jump 500 times. Oh, this is lit. 
Oh, is this the um Is is this the trophy list that you're talking about, is it lit? So we've got jump 500 times. That's no problem. I have definitely done that. Jesus. I've done that many, many times over. Um, destroy 500 ships. I've probably not done that. In fact, I've definitely not done that. I don't do. I haven't done much combat. I hope, unless it means your own ship. <laughs> Dock 500 times. I've probably done that. Uh, crash into the inside of a station after accidentally boosting. I've definitely done that. <laughs> I've done that too many times. Oh, God. This station is too far away. Although it's not as bad as Hudson Station, if you were here at the start of the stream, guys. Um... Yeah, anybody that's joining, by the way, anybody that's watching, that's uh, kind of just joined, welcome to Daydreamer Gaming. Welcome to Gaming with Mule Live on Daydreamer Gaming. If this is the first time you've watched this then and you enjoy what you see, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I do regular, fairly regular Elite really Dangerous streams. Um, Elite, uh, Daydreamer Gaming is a collaboration channel. So there's lots of different content, so there's something here for everybody. So... Fucking doing that again, and I don't know why. Um, yeah, there's something here for everybody, so have a look. If you enjoy what you see, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're enjoying today's video, then please be sure to uh, hit that like button. I genuinely really do appreciate it, and it really does help the channel out. So, And also be sure to check us out on Twitter. Um, you'll find a link to that in the description. You can also follow me on Twitter at GamingMule88 for updates on when I'm going to be streaming either on my own channel or here on Daydreamer Gaming. Um, also, please be sure to check out my channel, the Day... Uh, I nearly said the Daydreamer Gaming channel then. Be sure to check out my channel, the Gaming Mule channel. You'll find a link to that on the homepage of the Daydreamer Gaming channel that you're watching right now. Um, I bring out mostly Elite Dangerous content at the minute, but I do do various other things as well. So if you enjoyed this video, again, please be sure to check out my channel because that will hopefully have more stuff that you'll enjoy as well. There's the plug. Um, not the real list, but I can see it being something like that, and I would also expect the last one, they have a sense of humour after all. Yeah, they'd have a... And, and I would have absolutely, you know, smashed that trophy if it was that last one, if that last one um, was an actual trophy. Right, freight station, let's... I'm surprised we haven't been interdicted or anything else while delivering this stuff. That's quite a surprise. Right. Uh, number four. Yep, yeah, that's us. Just try not to crash into this tower. I'm glad we're coming in a bit fast. Slow down. Oh, man, it takes too long for this goddamn ship to slow down. I think this is since I did a bit of engineering on the thrusters. Are we nearly there? Yeah, we're nearly there. Um, fucking... Stop! Stop! No! I really need to work on my landings. They are awful. Um, Voyager 1 golden record released in the 70s to study the planets in our system. You can find it in Elite. Oh, okay. Ah, so that means it's in our solar system. Right, you need a permit to visit our solar system in Elite Dangerous and you need to rank up with the Federation before you can do that. Um... And I've yet to do that. Otherwise, we could go and have a look at it now, actually. We're, we're quite near Earth at the minute. Um, but yeah, I've yet to get my permit to visit there. So, uh, sadly, you won't be able to do that as soon as you get the game. But you can obviously work on your rank with the Federation. So that you can get the, uh, so you can get the permit. I hope I've not, I hope I've not put you off buying the game now. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, we've done that. Booyah. And again. Booyah. Now, oh, I suppose that guy that we saw before doesn't look exactly like Dave. 
I've got a different guy now, Emalin Mathis. Uh, donate two units of synthetic meat. I don't have any synthetic meat, I'm afraid. So also return nine units of consumer technology. Ugh, boring. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll accept those. And then I'm going to be naughty. Are we in open play? Save and exit to main menu. Yes. We're going to come back into solo play and see if there's any more um, any more missions to take on as well. Just so that we don't have to keep coming back and forth. Oh, fuck off with that power play bonus voucher bollocks. Um, saying that, I wonder if I can get my power play stuff from here. Uh, contacts. Power contacts. Oh, claim my 1,000 credit salary. Whoop, whoop. Right, let's see if we've got any more missions. Yes. Oh, yeah, this is more like it. Oh, mining one. I don't want mine. Oh, my God, look how much reputation I need to get the permit acquisition opportunity. Oh, man, we're going to have to do shitloads of missions for these pricks. There's nobody else here from Sirius Corporation, is there? No. Bollocks! What's the community goals, anyway, at the minute? Imperial appeal for commodities. What kind of commodities? Oh, all, all sorts of shit. Oh, I should probably get on that. I'm not going to get on it right now, but I should probably get on that. Uh, federal appeal. Oh, so the, feder the Federation and the... Um, the Imperials are after commodities at the minute for community goals. I should probably get on that. Still got six days left and it's not even reached tier one yet, so that's fine. Uh, right, okay, where are we heading to first then? Bloody, bloody, blah. Um, deliver some shit. Deliver 10, 12 units of bio waste. That's cool, we can do that. Um, <laughs> let's say, so how many mules have you got? Uh, I think I'm up to about 22 million now. 22 million mules. <laughs> if you didn't watch the Monopoly stream last night, you won't understand what we're on about. But maybe you should check it out. That was one of our group streams. We do group streams every now and then. All of the daydreamers getting together and playing a game. Last night we played Monopoly. It was good fun. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button as well, guys. Um, so yeah, 22 and a half million mules we've got. <laughs> <laughs> Mules. <laughs> uh, right, let's go. Right, let's get out of here. Right, ship released. Woo, yeah. Okay, right, so... We are heading... To, where are we heading to? I can't remember now. Uh, Epsilon Eridani. Ah, we've already been there today. Nowhere new. But grinding away. Grinding away with the Sirius Corporation. What is our current uh, reputation? We're only at Cordial. We're not even allied with them yet. It's going to take ages to get this permit. It's going to be a lot of grinding before I can get to... Uh, um, Yeah, it's going to be a lot of grinding till I can get to Professor Palin. But I need to get to Professor Palin because I want to get those corrosive, um, anti-corrosive cargo racks so that I can go around Maya and try and find an alien encounter for you guys. I really, really need to find an alien encounter for this channel and my own channel. And I really want to get it in virtual reality as well once we're all sorted. Um... Sue, can you not change your bloody name back instead of impersonating me? <laughs> um, right, where am I going? Fortress Cousins. Ooh, that sounds interesting. How far away is that? Uh, not far away at all. That's great. Um, Elite Super, says Marita. Warp time perfect. Oh, yes. Um... I, again, anybody that's just joined the stream as well, you can see that there's a gaming mule in the comments. That is not me. 
I want to make that super clear. That is Silver Eagle where posing as me because he's an idiot and he's not changed his bloody name back yet because his account got locked because he changes his name too often. Um, still think we should make a Game of Born shirt with your grinning face, your eyes replaced with dollar signs and underneath it. Text how many mules do you have? Yeah, I quite like the sound of that lit. Um, that's a good idea. There's a few t-shirts that I want to get. I'm currently in the process of rebranding my own channel, so I'm going to get some t-shirts that's got my own brand on it. Um, I also want one that says DETAIN with the, like, the papers please kind of style stuff on it. And maybe that one that you've said. Uh, Alien is super rare, says Marito. I know, but I really want to find one. And apparently the best, uh, the best method to increase your chances of getting an alien encounter is to have an unknown artifact in your cargo hold. But because um, they corrode your cargo hold, you need anti-corrosive um, uh, cargo racks. So that's why, that's why I'm doing all of this stuff for the Sirius Corporation, because I'm trying to unlock the engineer, Professor Palin, but I need to do stuff for... I can't remember the guy's name now. Um, I need to do stuff for Marco Quent first, and to unlock him, I need a Sirius permit. That's a Sirius permit, not a Sirius permit. Whenever... And I don't know if anybody else made this mistake, but when I first watched um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, I always thought that his name was Sirius Black, like he's seriously black, and I thought that's a really weird name. And then I found out that his name was Sirius. I don't, that, and that is true, I'm not just making that up because it's not very funny anyway. Um, but <laughs> did anybody else make that mistake or was it just me? Um, I am Gaming Mule, I accept sub to sub, or you can sub to Gaming Mule's beard, don't actually. Yeah, seriously guys, don't click onto that link in the, in the chat, because if you're looking for my channel, that is not me. That is not me. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Did I get permission to land there? Landing permitted. Set down on landing pad one eight. Uh, Marito says sub cheers. Thank you so much. I hope you've not subbed to the guy pretending to be me <laughs> But thank you so much. We really appreciate it any go anybody that subs to this channel We really do appreciate it. It really does help and we love interacting with you guys and so we stream All the time so be sure to come and check us out um, Whenever we stream we love having you guys here. We love having a good crack with you guys um, There we go. Just put something in the chat for you all. We would advise pilots to please show consideration to fellow visitors. Right. <laughs> what was I doing? Uh, right. Mission board. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Deliver 12 units of bio waste. Excellent. God, this is going to take so long. Um, right, there's nobody else from the Sirius Corporation here, is there? Right, what do we need to source? We need some synthetic meat and consumer technology. Let's see if we've got any of that here in the commodities market. 
Okay. Uh, shit, I've already forgotten what I'm looking for. Synthetic meat, consumer technology. Right. Consumer technology, nothing. Bollocks. Come on, give me some synthetic meat, baby. Come on, synthetic meat. Come on, son of a bitch. Right, let's have a look in the galaxy map then. Right, let's find some... Uh, Jones Skill is in the chat. Hi, Jones. Thank you so much for joining Gaming with Mule Live on Daydreamer Gaming. Um, hey, Shirley. <laughs> I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> That's an airplane um, reference, by the way. If none of you have ever seen the film Airplane with... Um, I was going to say Liam Neeson then. With Leslie Nielsen in it. You need to check it out and you will get the reference. And it is the funniest line from any movie ever. Um, right, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, what am I looking for? Synthetic meats, isn't it? Um, so I'm assuming that that's going to come under foods. Synthetic meats. There we go. Boom. Right, where's got synthetic meats? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, so it looks like YZ SETI has synthetic meat, so let's head over there. Boom. Exactly, you should trust the one with the gaming mule picture. Yes. Can you still not change your name back, <laughs> Sue? Please see if you can change your name back. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, right, let's head off. Let's see if we can pick up some synthetic meat. Meat. Wholesale meat and cool. I will see it, says Jones. Please do. You need everybody needs to watch Airplane. It is hilarious, and if you like Leslie Nielsen movies like The Naked Gun, um, or if you ever watched like Police Squad, I know they're the same things really. Um, you know, any Leslie Nielsen movie, if you like Leslie Nielsen, then Airplane is an absolute classic. Uh, Spasm McSpasm is in the chat. <laughs> Brilliant name, by the way. Um, welcome to Game With Mule Live on Daydream Again. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for typing in the chat. Um... Lol, you have an Alpha Centauri mission. Enjoy your two-hour super cruise. It's funny you should say that, because I picked up that mission at the start of the stream earlier. And I'd, I've never actually been to Alpha Centauri before. And I thought, God, that's a lot of money for, like, just delivering some shit to Alpha Centauri. Happy days. So I took it along, and then I didn't realise how long it takes to get to Hudson Moore Orbital. And we were probably just sat here for about 20-odd minutes just talking shit. Um, and then realised how long it was going to take. Um, so, yeah, I abandoned that. I'm going to do that off stream. I'm not going to do that on stream. But, yeah, you're quite right. Uh, that was... No, it's just daft. Um, where am I going? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to pick up some synthetic meat, aren't I? Uh, we could go to... T we could go side to a penal Connolly. Connolly? Connolly? Oh, Clement Orbital. Oh, whoops. Clement Orbital. That'll do. Right, we'll go there. I can't be asked for planetary landings. Uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It says... Le yeah, that's another Leslie Nielsen classic. Uh, Nick Hunter. Hi, Nick. Welcome to Gaming With Mule Live on Daydreamer Gaming. Thank you so much for joining. He says, I'm here for the airplane ref reference. I was kind of hoping that that might draw some people in. Um, shit, what the fuck is going on with my controls? Ah, there we go. Um, you need to start me off though, Nick. You need to give me the feeder line and I'll finish it off. If that's what you're here for. Not in a weird way. Thank you so much for watching, by the way, everybody, guys. We've had a great response this evening. Um... Have we said Repossessed? Is that another Leslie Nielsen film? I've not heard of Repossessed. Oh, The Exorcist spoof. I've not seen that, you know. Is that one to recommend, is it, Nick? I might have to check that out. Repossessed. Repossessed. 
Right, Clement Orbital. Um, what was I looking for here? Synthetic meats, wasn't it? Not yet. Good one. Um, oh, what am I doing? Oh god, I'm not paying attention. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the comments. Oh my fucking god, best says Nick Hunter. I'll check that out. I'll definitely have to check that out. He was in Hot Shots 2, I think. Was he? Was he in Hot Shots 2? It's been a long time since I've seen Hot Shots 2. FYI trivia, airplane was released here in Australia as flying high. Oh, okay. Why was it not? Um, why was it not released as uh, as airplane in Australia? Australia. I remember his lightsaber fights. Was the lightsaber fight? Was that in Hot Shots? The lightsaber fight. It's been years since I've seen that film. Uh, guess who I am? Gaming Sue. That's more like it. Although stolen. You've stolen my logo. But that's fine. I'm changing that logo soon anyway, Sue, so you can keep it. <laughs> um, ever seen a grown man naked? Which one is that for? I'm clearly out of my depth here with the Leslie Nielsen references now. Nick Hunter's just, uh, just, just, just taking it all from me. No idea on why airplane was called flying high. Fair enough, fair enough. Right, where are we? Landing Bay 38. can't be asked to make my own, says Sue. That's fine. That is my gift to you, Sue. You can use my logo. You have my permission. Because as I say, I'm changing it soon. Oh, God, we overshot this. God, our stopping power on our engines and our thrusters now is terrible. It's definitely from engineering, I think. Oh, landing gear would be useful, wouldn't it? Oh, 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 boom. I'll make my own. Oh, you are making your own now. Okay, that's fine. Did you create a brand new get, um, YouTube channel just so you could use that, Sue? <laughs> um, right, what the hell am I doing? Synthetic meats I'm looking for, aren't I? Food. Yes. How many do I need? Um, no, 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 no. Only two. That's cool. Microweave cooling hoses. What the fuck are they for? Um, right. And then I need nine units of consumer technology. Have we got any consumer technology here? No. Of course we haven't. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Oh, in fairness, it's not a Nielsen line. Captain says it's a little Jimmy in Airplane. I want to watch Airplane now. It's been so long since I've seen it. I just had to make the reference when I'm doing stuff for the Sirius Corporation. I had to do the Airplane reference. Right, consumer technology. What does that fall under? I'm assuming it's going to fall under consumer items. What a guess. Okay. Um, let's go to uh, e EZ Aquari or Ez Aquari. I don't think we've been there before. Only one jump away. I, l I love the range on this thing. Let's race this other asp out of here. Fuck you! 
I have no care for speeding restrictions. <laughs> it is literally the funniest film ever made in my opinion, says Nick Hunter. It looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. <laughs> looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. Everybody needs to watch it. It's amazing. Nick says so you're just running missions. Okay. I'll explain what I'm doing, because there's, uh, there's some more people watching now that probably weren't here from the start or halfway through or whatever. So, uh, what I'm doing at the minute is, uh, because of, like, the recent alien encounters and stuff like that, I really want to get an alien encounter, especially now that, um, update 2.4 has been announced. I was really worried that the alien encounters are going to stop now that um, 2.4 has been announced and there was the recent attack on the capital ship by the Thargoids. But I went on the, to the uh, Frontier forums earlier and um, to ask whether or not, you know, these alien encounters are going to end now. And the general consensus on the Elite forums was no. Um, so I really want to get an alien encounter. I really want to show it to you guys um, here on this channel or my own channel, whichever. Um, uh, and I really want to capture it in virtual reality. I normally play this in VR, um, but in this instance today, I just thought it's just easier for me to do it like this. So, um, to increase the chances of me getting an alien encounter, I need to get an unknown artifact and carry that around in my cargo bay. But um, because... Unknown artifacts corrode your cargo bays and you end up losing them. I need to get anti-corrosive cargo racks um, So one of the engineers does provide that that's professor Palin So I'm basically grinding the engineers um, So that I can get access to professor Palin. So the current engineer that I'm trying to uh, meet and get a hold of um, He requires that you have a permit to visit the Sirius system hence the, uh, the 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 serious uh, jape in the uh, in the title. Um, so at the minute, I'm just trying to gain reputation with the Sirius Corporation so that I can get the permit to Sirius, and then I can visit this engineer, grind the engineer, get access to Professor Palin, get the anti-corrosive uh, cargo racks, get an unknown artifact, and then hopefully, hopefully. After all of that, I'll get an alien encounter. If I don't, I'm going to be super upset. But that's what I'm doing. Um, hold on a minute. I'll read, uh, I'll read your comment in a second, Sue. Uh, I'm just getting a bit close here to this gateway. Oh, shit. Leave me alone, you son of a bitch. Oh, this guy's called Samuel as well. Fuck off. I ain't got time for combat, and also my Asp Explorer really is not kitted out for combat, so, um, yeah, this is not going to do me any good. Right, fuck off. There we go. Um... I'm not trying to promote myself, but Mule, check out my first video. Forced my son? What? Have you been forcing your son to make videos for your YouTube channel? Um. Oh, so Nick Hunter says, uh, yeah, there's been no changes to the game since 2.3 release. I heard the unknown artifact thing was debunked. Um, I don't think you need an artifact. Is that right? Uh, when I was on the uh, when I was on the forums earlier, that's kind of what the what people were saying. You know, it's still better to have the unknown artifact. Still, apparently, increases your chances of getting high predicted. Um, but I don't know. Is that is that what the case is? Access granted. You are go for approach to patch two. Um, Spasm McSpasm. I love that name, by the way. Hold on, I'll read your, I'll read your comment in just two seconds, mate. Um, 
Um, shit, where am I going to? 22. Oh, there it is. I mean, I suppose what I can do in a bit, if, um, if what Nick says is the case, I suppose we can go, we can head on over to the Maya system, um, and have a bit of a fly around before I end this stream. Although, I've probably got a bit of time left before I want to end this stream. Probably got another, like, 45 minutes or so, but... I suppose we could do that. I mean, what would you guys prefer me to do? Would you like me to head on over to Maya and have a bit of a fly around and see if we can get high predicted? Or would you rather that we just carried on with what we're doing now and just doing a bit of grinding on the serious missions? Um, it's up to you guys. You guys are the viewers. Um, we'll do whatever you guys uh, whatever you guys think's best. Um... So, Spasm McSpasm says, I was high predicted by aliens six times in a row after dropping an unknown artifact and heading for home. Wow. Hmm, maybe if you've simply had one in your hold. Um, no, check it out, see what I mean, says Sue. What am I looking for? Hold on, how do, um... Um, there's nothing on there, Sue. There's nothing on your channel. Or am I supposed to look at your old channel? I'm not seeing any videos on your channel, mate. Unless I'm missing something, something daft here. Um, right, blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. Hey, I may be wrong, just heard Yamix and that's it. Oh, okay. Well, Yamix definitely knows more about this shit than I do, so maybe it might be maybe it might be a good shout actually. Let me know guys, if you want me to head over to Maya, we can give it a go. We can give it a bosh. I don't mind. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. Mission objective complete. Right. Let's head back to home. How much money do I have I accumulated? <laughs> I've made so little money recently, it's unreal. I need to do these, some of these community goals. Because they could, uh, they could give me a bit of money. Or I might have to do another exploration expedition. Because that's what uh, that's what paid for my orca, so um, it might be good to do another one of them. Although it was so tedious heading to Sagittarius A and uh, and um, Jack Station. Fuck speeding regulations. I really want to try and do a Yamix um, impression, but I'm just trying to think of the kind of stuff that he says. And I actually I do follow Yamix. So I am I do subscribe to his channel, so I don't I, sh I probably shouldn't really take the piss on YouTube. What the hell is wrong with this goddamn sheep? No, that was awful. No, forget that. Forget that. <laughs> Crash into the star, you ball bag. <laughs> Trying just shitting on all the ships, he's hilarious. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the Asp Explorer? I mean, seriously. No, I don't know. That was terrible. If Yamix, if you ever watch this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> what 
the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this? Nah, I don't know. I'll stop now. I'm going to stop now. Now you should see it. Oh, okay. Let's have a goosey gander then. Um, no, not seeing it there. Let's go to your old channel again, shall we? Still not seeing any uploads, mate. You might have a, you might have it set to private instead of public. All right, how long have I been streaming for? Nearly two hours. Hmm. How's our reputation looking with the Sirius Corporation? Um. <laughs> I'll give up on YouTube. Don't give up on YouTube, Sue. Where are the bars? Do they not have the bars that show the change in reputation? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Oh, I don't care. Right, okay. I think what we'll do, guys, is because we've got the chat going on pretty good, um, I'll unload some stuff here. Um, complete these missions that I'm doing, apart from the one to... Um, uh, fucking oh shit! What's Alpha, apart from the one to Alpha Centauri, I'm going to do that off stream because that's just ridiculous. And then we'll head on over to Maya. We'll have a fly around like the Pallades area, see if anything happens. But I don't have a, an unknown artifact, so I think a uh, I think it's unlikely that we'll find some aliens. But what the hell, man? We'll have a look. I'm not in virtual reality. Mm, I would prefer to be in virtual reality for that, but fuck it doing this for you guys keep checking it man please okay hold on says Sue uh, oh okay uh, <laughs> hold on I'll I'm gonna watch this in a minute I'll land <laughs> I've just seen the title for it okay I'm gonna land this and um, actually what we might be able to do oh, no, I won't do that yeah what I'll do is I'll land um, I'll land the ship and then I'll have a look at this. I'll put the sound on really loud. Did you say this is your son that's recorded this? It's my son. <laughs> Brilliant. I can't wait to see this. It's only four seconds long. Oh, come on! I could probably speed up a little bit here. I'm not approaching this planet side like my... Like my own advice that I gave out earlier. I'm approaching this from the wrong side, but nah, what the fuck? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, man. I don't know why that took so long. No cutting because I'm a lazy bastard. That's fair, man. That's fair. What am I doing? Permission to land. What? Why is boarding permission denied? Don't give me none of that shit. there's some prick kicking about here that's uh is there somebody why 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 is boarding permission denied why 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 can't I board? Right, we're gonna watch. I'm gonna watch this video while I wait for that shit to sort itself out. Right, hold on. Let me. Uh... <laughs> oh 
Hold on, I need to replay that and put my uh, my volume up to the max. <laughs> Thank you to uh, Mini Sue for that. K A B. If you're wondering what that's about, it's a it's a joke from an old Saturday morning show that I did. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, you talk. Uh, this is Spasm McSpasm. I love that name still. Uh, you talk of doing exploration. Why not use exploration data to get friendly with Sirius? I kill two birds with one stone and use the data from my 5,000 light year trip for Palin. I suppose I could do that, actually, couldn't I? But what... Oh, somebody's leaving that pad now. Excellent. Um, I could do that, but I've done so much exploration recently. It's been unreal. I mean, I went to... Um, I went to Jack Station and then I went to Sagittarius A and then came all the way back. So it was like... Uh, I don't know, like a 50,000 light year all round trip or something like that. And I was like, oh God. So I've already done the 5,000 light years, sorted. Um, so I kind of want to stay away from exploration for a bit at least. Um, just because I don't want it to get... There we go, nice one. I don't want it to get so tedious that I don't enjoy it anymore because I really do enjoy exploring. I mean, it was a lot of fun, but the journey back was, oh god, it was horrible. It just felt like it took forever, you know. Um, but, yeah, I see what you're saying. Maybe, I mean, it probably would be quicker to do it like that. I don't know. Um, but it's a good suggestion. Yeah, absolutely. I just uh, might not follow through with it just to just for, more for my own enjoyment. If I'm enjoying the game, then that means, like, I do better commentary and you guys can enjoy the streams a bit better. If I'm just doing exploration, it gets very... It gets very hard to keep talking about stuff when you're just simply flying through space for so long. Um, just relogging. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, no. I, I probably should have done that, Nick. Um, but we're all good. Uh, K.A. Bay is the answer to everything. It has no meaning, says Gaming Sue. Absolutely. Um, right, let's hand in these missions. God, we're so far off getting to where we need to be with this. There we go. So there's a takedown pirate lord and stuff left, but... Yeah, what we'll do now is we'll head over to Maya and just have a bit of a fly around for the next like half an hour or something, and then I'll end the stream. We'll do that. Um, so, but yeah. In the meantime, guys, if this is the first time you're watching Daydreamer Gaming, game with me all live on Daydreamer Gaming, and you're enjoying what you're seeing, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do regular Elite Dangerous streams. Um, I also do regular um, Elite Dangerous streams on my own channel, the Gaming Mule channel which you can also subscribe to. I'm going to leave uh, a comment right now in the chat, so uh, you can click on that and go to my channel. If you enjoy what you see, please be sure to subscribe to that as well. So I'm just going to type that in now. The answer to every... Oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I, I saw, I saw uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference somewhere there. Uh... No, 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 no. The answer to everything. 42. <laughs> All it says is Gary Johnson. This isn't about the meaning of life, Gary. It's about trust. Oh, God. Maya's miles away. I didn't realize how far away Maya is. Oh, there's a community goal at Maya. Oh, what's the community goal? We might as well do that. Um... What have we got in the inventory? Nano breakers, micro weave cooling hoses. I might as well just sell all of that shit. I don't need any of that crap. Just don't sell the wine. Um. I hope I don't need any of them for the engineers. Um, right, so what's the community goal at Maya then? 
Maya looks quite far away though. I didn't realize how far away that is. Microweave calling hoses. That's stuff that I've just sold. I've just sold some of them, haven't I? What an absolute fucking idiot. I wonder if I can buy them back. I might be able to buy them back, actually. Hold on. No! Ah! They don't sell fucking anything here, either. Right. I always forget what I need to collect, so let me write this shit down. Because I'm an idiot and my memory is absolutely goddamn awful. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm gonna leave. Sorry, guys, says Sue. No worries, man. Thank you so much for joining. It's been a pleasure tonight. And hopefully I'll see you again soon, man. Um, right, so I need silver. Micro... We've hoses and emergency power cells. Boom. Right, so where's got any of that sheet nearby? Right, let's see if there's any silver nearby. Oh, there's a fair bit. Um, right, Ross 896 looks promising for some silver. So, we'll head there. Uh, Nick Hunter says I'm going to jump in the game, want to wing up. Not today, buddy, because um, I'm going to probably end this stream in a bit. But um, I can send you a friend request and we can maybe wing up another time. What's, um, um, well, you don't, you don't need to put your name up. Um, you don't need to put your name on the chat. But if you want to add me on um, Elite Dangerous... I'll type my username in the chat now. So, yeah, if you want to add me as a friend on Elite Dangerous, go ahead. That's cool. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, cool. I'll in fact I'll do that now, Nick. I'll I'll do that now. I've not got many friends that play this game, so it's always good to have new friends. <laughs> uh, Commander C R three three P. Boom. Boom. There we go. Uh, what is it? Right. Let's go. If you go hunting for alien aliens, Nick, good luck. I'm more of a Singapore sling man, but all right. Loving the cocktail puns there, man. I like it. <laughs> Seriously, guys, thank you so much for joining tonight. It's been such a pleasure. We've had such a great response in the chat. It's been really cool having you guys joining me tonight for Elite Dangerous. I love streaming Elite Dangerous. It's, um... At the minute, it's definitely my favourite game at the minute to play. I just have so much fun on it. I love playing it in virtual reality as well. So, if you guys like watching people play this in virtual reality, um, you know, you'll definitely find that with me as well. Um, yeah. Yeah really enjoy it so if you guys enjoy this um you enjoy your elite dangerous streams then please be sure to subscribe to daydreamer gaming also be sure to subscribe to my own channel the gaming mule channel um which you'll find a link to on the home page of uh this channel that you're watching now 
or, or just type in gaming mule in the um, in the search bar you'll find me you'll find me also be sure to follow us on Twitter you'll find the link down below in the description for the Twitter account for daydreamer gaming and you can also follow me on Twitter at gaming mule 88 as well and one thing that I've not mentioned actually for a while since the start of this stream is our sponsor gamer born clothing uh, Gamer Born Clothing is an excellent clothing website where you can get all kinds of gaming peripherals, not just clothing, but they do like mugs, bags, things like that. Um, they do like loot boxes as well. Um, check them out at gamerborn.co.uk. And if you do place an order um, at the checkout, enter the code DDGAMING for a 10% discount of your final purchase price. So be sure to check that out. Oh, Spasm McSpasm has sent me a friend request as well. I'll accept that in just two seconds, old buddy. Oh, come on. Uh, I've subbed. See you on stream or in-game soon. Um, I'm yet to be hyper addicted too, so see what happens, says Nick. Awesome. See you soon, man. Thank you so much for the sub. And thank you so much for joining the chat and everything like that today. I really appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Right. Uh, we'll accept Spasm's friend request as well. Now friends with the Commander Spasm. Whee! I'm making friends on Elite Dangerous. Finally, after all these all this time. Right. Jones Station. Request docking. Again, guys, if you've subbed to this channel today, please be sure to sub to my channel as well, the Gaming Mule channel. I'd really appreciate it. It's a, it's a huge help to the channels. You guys checking us out and liking, and so many of you watching tonight. So, again, thank you so much. Right, okay, time to dock this bitch. See if we can collect some silver, and then we'll head over to Maya. As long as it doesn't take too long. If it does take a while, um... That might be something for the next stream, but we'll see once we've picked up some silver for the community gold. Because if I'm going to head all the way over to Maya, um, I might as well at least get in on the community gold, even if we're just in like the top 100%, 75%, whatever. What am I looking for? Silver, isn't it? Silver, silver, silver! Metals? No, there's no silver here. Great. What else am I looking for? Microweave hoses. Microweave hoses. Nope. Emergency power cells. No. Great. Okay, let's head to the next spot. What else is there? Da -ba -da -ba -da. Democracy. There's a planet called Democracy. That's uh, that's very uh, that's, that sounds very American. We got a planet here called Democracy, which is another word for America. I really hope there's no Americans watching. I'm really sorry if there is. Oh, there's another Aspect Explorer. Let's race that fucker. Come on, let's beat him out of that letterbox. Come on! Oh, son of a bitch, he had a head start on us. Shit, shit. Oh, no! <laughs> I've been saying for the whole stream, fuck speed regulations <laughs> that was a mistake kids don't go full thrust while inside a station it is not safe <sighs> fuck <laughs> I can't believe I did that actually no I can totally believe that I did that There we go. Shields is back online. 
<laughs> oh, too fast. Ah! Oh, I think I'm getting a bit tired now, guys. I'm getting really careless. I mean, I'm shit at flying anyway, but I'm being really bad now. Right, come on. We can bring this back. Come on, we can get a safe disengage here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes! Oh, get it. Skill, that was skill. Right, okie dokie. Let's see if they've got any silver here. If there isn't any silver here, then fuck it, we'll just, uh, oh shit. Then we'll uh, see about heading to Maya anyway, depending on how many jumps it is. If it's too many jumps, like I say, I'm not going to do that tonight. Um, we'll do that on maybe the next stream. Doopy doopy doo. Right, we are not going to go, we're not going to enter a full throttle into this letter box. Letter, letter box. So that would be daft, and only a stupid pilot would do something as stupid as that and risk his beloved Asp Explorer. I do love this Asp Explorer. I'm sorry for her to be really out. Oh, God, I hate it when the pads are right next to the fucking letterbox. Close enough, close enough. Landing operation complete. Power down your engines. You're all checked in, Commander. Aha, silver. Right, we'll just fill up the cargo hole with as much as we can. 20. Is that 20? 26. That'll do. It's because I've still got all that fucking wine in there for that bloody haulage mission. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Right, okay, let's head to Maya then, kids. Please don't be too far. Mm. 14 jumps. That's not too bad. What time is it? 20 to 11. Okay, we can do this. I can at least fly to Maya. And then if we get high predicted, then that's just an added bonus. And then I still get to be a part of this community goal. And I still make a little bit of money. So that's cool. Alright, fuck speed restrictions. Oh, was that? I think was, was that? I think that was a dolphin that I just uh, flew past there. We're gonna blitz these uh, this, these fourteen jumps, guys. Uh, G Wolf is in the chat. Hi, G Wolf. Thank you so much for joining us today on Game with Me All Live on Daydreamer Gaming. I really appreciate it. Uh, are you playing this on PC or Xbox? Uh, I'm playing this on PC. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Playing on PC. I don't own an Xbox, unfortunately. Um, I do own a PlayStation Four. I'm considering buying this game again on PlayStation Four. Um, just so that I can start again, really. Um, you know, because you can't have multiple saves on one account, unfortunately. Um, so... Um, and I think it would just be interesting to start again, just so... Because I've learned so much from playing this over the past year or year and a half or so, or whatever. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how I approach the game from the start knowing what I know now as I didn't know anything before um, yeah I did send an email to Frontier to see if I could get a review code for the PlayStation 4 version sadly they denied me which was a shame if there's anybody from Frontier watching that thinks you know what this good this guy's streams aren't too bad he does okay streams perhaps we should give him a review code then 
hit me up, man. Or lady. It's a bit sexist there, wasn't it? Um, yeah. If, if you don't send it to me, I probably will just buy it anyway. But, you know, if you're watching, if you fancy being charitable and you're enjoying the stream, then there you go. Um, do you think multi-crew will change... Uh, will change that outcome? Um, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I've not actually tried multi-crew yet, so I don't really know anything about it. Um, I've, I've pretty much tried everything that there was um, with the 2.3 update. Um, I checked out the asteroid bases, I bought a dolphin, um, what else was with 2.3? I renamed my ship, the New World Going Explorer, I did pretty much everything apart from multi-crew, so I can't really offer any kind of opinion on multi-crew, because I don't actually know anything about it, <laughs> I just know that it's there, and I know that a lot of people aren't using it, as far as, I, as far as I'm aware, that's the impression that I've been given anyway, that not many people are using multi-crew, um, but... As I understand it, um, when they do, when a, when a, when Frontier do the 3.0 update, um, I believe they are looking to do like a bit of an overhaul on the whole, on like the whole of the gameplay for for Elite Dangerous. So I'm going to assume that that's going to include multi crew. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that answers your question. Um, fair enough, lol. Okay, that'll do me. <laughs> Cheers, G Wolf. <laughs> I should try multi crew though. Um, I mean, I'm not really bothered with it in any of my ships because the largest ship that I've got is an Orca, which I don't really use very often. And unless I stick a fighter bay in there or something, um, it's not. I don't really have any use for multi crew on my ship, unless of course I get some like turreted weapons. But generally, if I'm in the Orca or in the Aspect Explorer, if I encounter any kind of hostility, I tend to just excuse me. I tend to just run away. I know I, ha I do have a vulture, which has a multi-crew seat in it, but I really don't see the points in that. I don't want turreted weapons on my ships, unless I've got, like, gimbaled or fixed weapons as well. But because the vulture's only got two large hard points, there's, like, not really any point in having any turreted weapons, unless you, like, specifically wanted to use that ship for multi-crew, I think. That's just my opinion. Oh, double star action. Let's just grab a little bit of fuel while we're here. I love this fuel scoop. It's just like... Give me that fuel! Overheating a little bit. Nah, we'll be alright. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to get the old uh, Robo cock out. Desperate for a cigarette, and when you've been streaming for two hours and 20 minutes, it becomes a bit crazy. So I've got to smoke this piece of shit. Uh, G Wolf says, have you been involved in the Thargoid happenings lately? That is an interesting question. Um, it's a really good question, actually. Uh, no, I'm going to say no. Um, I mean, what I'm doing at the minute is um, the reason I'm doing this stream today, um, or like what I was hoping to achieve today, is I'm trying to. Um, basically unlock Professor Palin, the engineer, so I can get anti-corrosive racks, uh, so that I can get an unknown artifact and then hopefully encounter some Thargoids. Um, so for the whole stream today, all I've been doing is trying to get a permit for the Sirius, um, the Sirius system, because I need that to unlock one of the engineers and then I need to build him up to unlock Professor Palin. So that's what I was doing today. Um, but now, I've been streaming for quite a while, and somebody, uh, Nick, and uh, I can't remember if it was Nick or um, Spasm McSpasm um, in the chat, um, mentions that um, apparently the unknown artifact um, like, theory has been debunked. So, 
just to break up the stream a little bit and because I'm going to end the stream soon I thought we'll head towards the Maya system and you know maybe on the off chance I mean I know it's ridiculously unlikely but maybe on the off chance we'll uh, get an alien encounter who knows um, but it also means that I can be involved in the community goal at Maya so it could be a good end to the stream arriving at Maya um, yesterday was it yesterday no, not yesterday, Tuesday, um, I, on my own channel, uh, not this channel, I headed over to HIP, I can't remember which one it was now, um, basically the area where the Thargoids had destroyed the capital ship just as um, Frontier announced um, the 2.4 expansion. So that's, that's the most involved I've been in this, like, Thargoid insurgents is just heading over to that capital ship yesterday, uh, Tuesday, sorry, to see everywhere, the whole thing like destroyed and the weird kind of like green plasma coming up from the ship and you just saw like the devastation that the Thargoids had done against this Federation capital ship. Um, so yeah, that's how involved I've been. Uh, Codename Johnny is in the chat. Hi, Codename Johnny. Thank you so much for joining uh, Game with Mule Live on Daydreamer Gaming this evening. It's an absolute pleasure. I hope you're having a, I hope you're having a pleasant evening. Um, he, but uh, Codename Johnny got high predicted without artifacts, so that's promising. So we're we're heading to the Maya system now. So you never know; something may happen. We may get high predicted. We may not. I tell you what, I will lose my shit if I get high predicted tonight. That will just be the best thing ever because it's. I was really worried that I'm going to miss out on it now that 2.4 has been released, uh, announced. Um, but yeah, everyone on the forums earlier, I put the question out on the forums earlier and everyone was basically like, no, you can still get high predicted before 2.4 is rolled out. So that's great. Um, Thargoids, uh, Spasm McSpasm says, Thargoids sound like something um, that hangs around the rings of Uranus. <laughs> yeah, I've got a bit, of, I've got a touch of the old Thargoids in Uranus. Oh, that sounds just weird. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? Um, uh, Liz says, hey, Mule, look at our Discord. Finn has made something really cool. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I'll have a look at Discord now. <laughs> now that's what needs to go on a T-shirt. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, <laughs> G Wolf says, "Ah, very good. I wish you the best on getting those cargo racks." Cheers, man. I appreciate that. Hey, if we if if we get high predicted now without without having to get an unknown artifact, then that would just like save me so much time. Because it's going to take me long enough just to get a serious permit, let alone to just build up the engineers and getting the items that they want and. You know, it's a lot of grinding by the sounds of it. People on the forums earlier were like wishing me luck, saying good luck with the engineer grinding. Right, so we're yeah, we're around the Pallades sector now. So this is the kind, these are the areas that people were getting high predicted in. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if anybody has managed to confirm whether or not uh, they've been high predicted since 2.4 has been um, announced, but everybody has said that it's still going to be going on. Um, ah, Finn's in the chat now. Hi, Finn. Hi, Finn. How's it going? I love your bit of uh, Photoshop that you put on Discord. As always, I'm a huge fan of your uh, of your Photoshopping skills. It's excellent. Um, I should get that like put up on the wall behind me. I should get a banner. One mule. <laughs> I fucking love that. Can't say. Um, I can't say that I'm a fan of the picture that you chose to put on that, uh, on that, uh, on that, on that, on that uh, Photoshop work that you've done there. Sorry, I'm no digressing, people. Let's carry on. We're kicking about the Palladius sector, guys. Come on, pray. I want you all to pray for a high prediction. Hashtag pray for high prediction.
there you go. I've put in the chat there, guys. Hashtag pray for high prediction. If you check out that channel there, that's my own channel as well. So please be sure to check that out. I would really appreciate it, guys. And if you hit me up with a sub, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, there's more of this on my own channel, as well as here on the Daydreamer Gaming channel. So be sure to check that out. Um, I have you on in the background while I put... While I mess around on Photoshop or whatever. <laughs> Brilliant. Glad you like it, Finn. Yeah, it says Finn. Thanks, Finn. I do like it. I should get a big banner. I should get it like Prince have a massive banner behind me for when I stream. That would be so cool. <laughs> One mule. One mule. How far away are we now? Oh, only two jumps to Maya and we've not been high predicted. God damn it. Keep keep those keep those prayers going, kids. What time is it? Ten to eleven. We'll hop off at Maya. Um we'll unload the silver for the community goal, and then we'll fly around for about fifteen minutes or so. Uh, we'll just keep uh, we'll just keep system hopping just to see if anything happens. I doubt it will, but you never know. Uh, G Wolf says, I was playing last night and was getting disconnected during jumps between systems. Have you had any issues with that today? Uh, no, I've had no issues with that today, actually. Um, I think I did, I got one kind of, not disconnection, but it kind of held me in hyperspace for ages yesterday at one point. But I've not had any, like, disconnections or anything. It's been okay. So, no, no, no issues my end, I'm afraid. Okay, here we are at Maya. Pray for hope addiction, kids. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> right, where are we heading to? Where's the community goal? Oh shit, I didn't sign up for the community goal, did I? I didn't actually sign up for it. Um, it's at Obsidian Orbital, isn't it? I should be able to pick it up at Monis Hub. I don't think I can pick it up at Obsidian. Can I actually pick it up at the place where the community goal is? Let's find out. I can't remember if I can. Here comes the high prediction, says G Wolf. It doesn't. It doesn't. I really want this. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, G Wolf. Keep praying, man. Keep praying. I said man. I'm assuming that you're a man. You know, you could be a lady. We don't get. We don't really get many lady viewers here on Daydream Game. We need to. We need to attract some more of the lady viewers. Oh, Codename Johnny says, I was heading home from Maya. I was a good few systems out when it happened, says Codename Johnny. Were you still, like, in, like, the Pallades area of systems, or were you outside of that? Um, I suppose it's kind of very random, really. Indeed, lol, I'm a dude. Jolly good. <laughs> I keep, yeah, I keep calling, like, people, like, dude and man and stuff like that, and I just think that's really sexist. I'm just assuming that people are blokes when, you know, they could be ladies. My sister is watching, so I guess that counts. Hi, G-Wolf sister. Welcome to Gaming With Mule Live on Daydreamer Gaming. I hope everyone is... Whoa, Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? Um, I hope everybody's having a pleasant evening. I've had an absolute blast tonight, guys. Really, I really I have. 
Thank you so much to everybody that's joined tonight. It's been a... Oh, sh oh, fuck off. This is not the kind of diction that I want right now. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Ah. Oh. This is not what I want right now. No. Yeah, I was still in Pallades, heading towards Sol. Oh, okay. So, okay, that's cool. The Sol area is pretty much where I've just come from, so maybe I could just kind of go back and forth. I don't know. Interdiction. Please insert 25 cents to continue. Oh, this is a cool looking station. Link on Lake Oscar Sierra. This is an independent star system commander. This is a really cool looking station, actually. Right, uh Civilian Orbizor, request docking. Oh, we're friends with these guys. We used to have been here before. I think I did set up shop at my uh, like many, many, many moons ago. For fuck's sake. It might or it might have been an old community goal, actually. Right, landing bay five. Where are you, you bastard? No doubt you're right next to the letterbox, as you always are, you prick. Oh, shit. No. Sure, I saw landing pad five. Oh, that's landing. Oh shit, that's landing pad nine. Oh god, pad loitering warning. No, I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. Attention, Commander. Where the fuck is? Ah, oh, there it is. Ah, pad loitering. God, I'm so crap at landing. Right. What am I? What the fuck is going on with my controls? Right. Here we go. Stop. Land. Boom. Uh, Codename Johnny says, I wish I could tell you exactly where I was, but I really can't remember. I did record it on my phone, so let me see if I can see the system name. Hold on. Oh, cheers, Johnny. I really appreciate that. Um... What am I doing? Oh yeah, community goal. Right, I'm hoping that I can sign up to the community goal while I'm here. Um, I might as well sign up for both of them, actually. In fact, why didn't I... Oh, it doesn't matter. Right. I'll sign up for both of them, and then I'll pick some stuff up for the other one later. Right. Uh, commodities market. Uh, silver. Boom. We made a profit on that. 50,000. That's not a bad little profit, actually. It's a tasty little profit for some like, shit like that. Um, oh, your hood went down in high prediction. Of course it did. Yeah, of course it did. Sorry. That's all right, mate. No worries. Thanks anyway. Thanks for checking. I appreciate it. Um, right. Uh, that's not the one I've done. It's this one. Insufficient contribution. How is it insufficient? I've just, I've just, I've contributed, man. Insufficient contribution. It's not that one, it's the other one. Silver, that's what I've just sold. I suppose it sometimes it takes a little while. Top 100% unlocks at first tier. Oh, okay, the first tier's not even been reached yet. That's fine. Okay, right, where to then? Uh, galaxy map. Right, let's uh, have a wee look around here. So it's like the Pallades kind of area that we want to be in, isn't it? So if I head to... I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll just... It doesn't... I'm not bothered where we go. So 
let's just head to some Pelades places. I can, I mean, I can make all of these in one jump. So let's head to, let's head to this one then. What just, the fuck is that noise? Oh, what's that? Is that a beluga or an orca? I think that's a beluga. Anyway. I recorded a live stream of my high predictions. I'll check if I can see the system. It says Spasm at Spasm. Oh, cheers, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thanks for all your help tonight, guys. Seriously. I really do genuinely appreciate it. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a beluga. Happy Gamers in the chat. Hi, Happy Gamer. Thank you so much for joining. Game with me all live on Daydreamer Gaming this evening. I really appreciate it. You do know when you ask someone not to do something, they genuinely do it, Shirley. Joke. <laughs> I am serious. So don't call me Shirley. I hope you get the reference, by the way. It's a Leslie Nielsen reference from the film Airplane. If you've never seen the film Airplane, you should watch it. It's brilliant. And it's got the funniest line ever. That's the kind of... That's what I was getting at. Some people might not get that. If you do get it, then... Awesome. If you don't get it, you need to watch Airplane right now. I think it's on Netflix. You should check it out. But anyway, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Right, no, nothing. Come on. Keep on. I'm just going to keep on um, jumping from star to star. <laughs> Gaming Sue's back in the chat. You're still fucking playing this, God. I will be ending the stream soon, Sue, don't worry. But um, I do. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say now. But I'm just uh, I'm just doing some star hopping just to see if we can get hyper predicted. But I don't I don't imagine it ha imagine it happening. But we'll just keep going anywhere. I'll just keep heading to like I don't know. I'll just keep picking random Pallades stuff. Random Pallades um, systems, and we'll just we'll just keep going. I've got a fuel scoop. We can do this forever. Uh, Leslie Nielsen is hilarious, says codename Johnny. Airplane was one of the classics. I absolutely couldn't agree more. Airplane is a fucking amazing movie. I love it. Um, I played... Oh, Sue says I played Rocket League because I actually like it. Do you not like Elite Dangerous, man? Elite Dangerous is the best game in the world ever. You'll get your Rocket League stream, don't worry. Uh, Kurt and Johnny says, did you ever watch Police Squad? Um, I think I watched, like, one or two episodes of Police Squad, like, years ago. Um, but, I mean, I've watched all the Naked Gun movies. I love the Naked Gun movies. They are hilarious. Um, oh, whoops. But I can't remember much about Police Squad. All I know is that it's like, well, it's, it's the Naked Gun, isn't it? And the Naked Gun is amazing. Um, Commander Viriatus says, do you have the artifacts? Uh, no, I don't have the artifacts, Viriatus. Thanks for joining, by the way. I really appreciate that, man. Um, no, I don't have the artifacts. I am working towards the artifacts. I'm working towards uh, getting Professor Palin so that I can get the corros anti-corrosive cargo racks. Um, that's something I've been working on for most of this stream, actually, to be fair. But um, some guys in the chat have said that you don't necessarily need the artifact to encounter it. So I thought for the last, like, 15, 20 minutes or so of the stream, we'll just, you know, do a bit of um, system hopping around the Pallades sector and just see if there's anything we can find. If we don't find anything, that doesn't matter. And then 
either on stream or off stream I'll continue to um, I'll continue to work towards getting the artifacts but yes I'm acting but hurt since you haven't uh, done a Rocket League stream Commander Variatis says, got you, you need that to get high predicted. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's what I've heard, but um, some of the guys in the chat today have said that you don't necessarily need it. So, I just thought, we'll give it a go, see if anything happens. If it does happen, absolutely amazing. If it doesn't happen, then, you know, it doesn't really matter either way. We're having a good crack. We're having a good stream today, guys. We're having some great people in the chat. I've had an absolute blast. Um, yeah, it's been great. And no need to apologise for the caps, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you, you love Elite Dangerous, Sue, don't lie. You, you'll be picking it up on PS4 in a couple of weeks. Oh, so, oh, yeah, so you did have the artifact then, didn't you, Spasm and Spasm? So, which, uh, I'll tell you what, well, we'll head to the one that you went to. We'll head on over there. We won't find anything, I don't think, but sod it, we'll give it a go. So, you were at, uh, do, 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 Pleiades Sector KCU. B3-1. It's not showing up. Have I spelled that wrong? P-L-E-I-A-D-E-S Sector K-C-U Oh, it's a... D oh, I missed one of the dashes off, sorry. Hmm. It's not coming up for some reason. Six times no artifact. Oh, okay. Pleiades Sector KCU dash B3 dash one. That's what I've put in. Is that right? Just trying to see if I can see it around here. No, there's a K. There's a KCV one down here. Let's head down here. Let's let, let's let's change our level. Let's go a bit lower. I had dropped it before the jump. I was high predicted on. Oh, okay. Let's head to this one. My high prediction. I'm just going to keep on heading down. Let's just, I'll tell you what, let's just head like really far down. Right. Here's a here's a Pleiades sector or Pleiades, whatever. How many jumps is that? That's four jumps. Right, we'll we'll do OKC dash U.
Ah, okay, right. Okay, let's try that then. Um, right, let's let's try that that you guys are suggesting there then. So, uh, Pleiades Sector. Oh, Sector! Shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, so it was K C dash U. Oh, B31 is the planet. Ah, okay. All right, let's try that first then. Come on. Pray for high prediction, guys. Hashtag pray for high prediction. It's not gonna happen. God damn it, Judson. Right. Just one more jump to here. Now ah, there we go, guys. I'm not too sure uh, who's in the day, who's who's signed in his daydream again. But cheers. Says that Mule is killing it here tonight on DG, DG, D, DGG. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Exactly, guys. If you're enjoying what you're seeing today, like, subscribe, share, check out our other content. Check out my content on my own channel, the Gaming Mule channel, which you will find a link to in the description. Uh, not in the description, sorry. You'll find a link to on the homepage of the channel that you're watching right now. Um, or just type in Gaming Mule in the search bar and you'll find me. Right, so that wasn't successful, unfortunately. I don't think anything really is going to be successful. But uh, let's head down to... Uh, yeah. Right, how many jumps is that? Three jumps. Right, we're going to do three jumps, guys. And then I'm going to end the stream this evening. So put your hands together and pray for a high prediction in three jumps. Hashtag pray for high prediction. Um, oh, well, yes, of course. And please be sure to come back tomorrow night as we'll be group streaming. So, um, yeah, we should be doing a group stream tomorrow night, guys. Not sure what time yet. We'll probably put that out on Twitter. So please be sure to follow Daydream Gaming on Twitter. You'll find a link to that in the description. Um, be sure to follow myself as well, at GamingMule88 on Twitter, uh, for updates on any new content that's coming out, stream schedules, all sorts of stuff. Right, that's one down, no high prediction. Darn. Right, that's one jump down with no high prediction. Two more to go. And then after that, it's back to the grind. <laughs> Next time I'm playing, back to the engineer's grind to work towards that unknown artifact. Uh, may the high prediction be with you, says Codename Johnny. Cheers, man. Peace. Uh, Spasm at Spasm says, actually, it's not the planet from what I'm watching in my stream archive. The second high prediction was in Palladis Sector ATQB5-1. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll look at that one then. If it's nearby, we'll find that one. See what happens there. If not, then that's the end of the stream and we shall revisit this another time, guys. Right, let's do this one last one and then we'll head to the one that uh, Spasm at Spasm is uh, heading to. The one that Spasm and Spasm is talking about. So I'm not sure what I said there. I'm losing. I'm getting quite tired now. I'm losing track of what I'm saying.
Come on. Come on. Bastard. Right, what's the one that you were looking with that you were saying, dude? Um, one more Bosch. One more Bosch. Right, so. Oh, that's not right. So, Pleiades Sector AT Q B5 1. Oh, fuck me, this is miles away. Oh my god, this is miles away. I didn't realise how big this kind of... I know, that's not the right system, is it? Why is it taking us there? Hold on. You did say AT-Q, didn't you? Let's try... Hold on. That is not the system we are looking for. It's not even just finding ATQ. Oh, so I've put Sexter in again. What an absolute tall bag. <laughs> no, it's not finding it. Well, that just isn't... Oh, wait a minute. No, that's just not right. It's not even close. I don't even know why it's saying that. It's like it's it flu flyer dryui blah 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 blah. Oh well, never mind guys. Either way, we're gonna end the stream here tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching Gaming with Mule Live on Daydreamer Gaming. It's been such a pleasure to see so many kind of fresh people in the chat tonight. Um, you've really helped me out. As always, everybody in the chat always helps me out on Elite Dangerous, so I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more Elite Dangerous streams, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and also be sure to subscribe to my channel, the Gaming Mule channel. I'm going to leave a comment in the description. Uh, sorry, I'm going to leave a comment in the chat now um, using my own channel so you can check that out. God, I can't type and talk at the same time. It's ridiculous. So, yeah. Please be sure to subscribe to us. We'll be doing a group stream tomorrow night from 8 or 9pm, something like that. So, be sure to check that out. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for updates. You'll see a link to that in the description. And we are also sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing, which is an excellent website where you can find um, clothing, other various peripherals like mugs and bags and things like that. They do customised clothing as well if you're looking for something kind of special and you want to get something customised. Um, and at the checkout, if you put Put in the code DD Gaming, then you will get 10% off your purchase. So check out gamerborn.co.uk. So thank you so much again for watching, guys. I've been Gaming Mule, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye!